Hello guys, this is Ron from the BI Forums, and in this Arma 3 video, I want to show you guys how to create a group of AI units, and then have them leave their group to join yours. So I'm going to press escape, and I'm currently logged in as the administrator on my dedicated server, and we can execute this code in all kinds of ways. We can do this through the debug window, or through a init.sqf, or through a separate script, or through the initialization field of an object, unit, or vehicle. There's all kinds of ways we can execute this code, but in this case, I'll be executing the code through the debug window, because it's easiest for me. Anyway, what we're going to need to find out first is what the class name is of the group we want to create. So I'm going to go to config viewer. The config viewer is in the config button in the debug window, or if you're in the editor, it'll be a gear icon on the top. Once you're in the config viewer, double click on CFG groups to open it, then double click on the side, and then double click on the faction, then double click on the element, and then single click the element or sub element of that element. In this case, we're going to have a infantry fire team be spawned from the blue four faction. Once you have it selected, just highlight down here the path, and then press Control C to copy it, click Close, and in this block of code here, inside the parentheses, paste that code that we copied from the config viewer, and execute. And now we have a fire team of AI units from the Blue Four Faction from the class name that we had referenced. On top of this, we can even add more people into our group on top of the group that we already control. So we go back to the config viewer. We can go to sniper team, for example. Copy it as we have done. And then in the parentheses again, paste it, execute. Now we have a sniper team and a fire team combined that we are in control of. And we can give them orders and all that shit. The reason why I can give them orders also is as I think I gave myself a major rank or colonel or something like that earlier. So I'm already the senior rank officer. Anyway, moving on. That's how you create a group in the game and how you make them join yours. Now what I'm going to do is show you this code and explain how it works. So those of you who want to understand what you're doing with this code, I'll just explain it really quickly. So first we have a local variable defined, underscore AI GRP which is going to be the variable that will store the group that we're going to create right here. And th inside this array, we have a few parameters. The first parameter is get pause player in this case, because I want them to be spawned on my position. So get pause player will create the group on the player's position. This will determine the side of the group. So it could be west, east, civilian, or independent. And then of course, in the parentheses is the class name of the group, as I had already shown you guys in the config viewer. And this, of course, just calls the function that spawns the AI group. This down here, this block right here, simply makes them leave the group and join your group. So for each for each of the units inside the ARGRP, the ARGRP variable that we had defined up here, it will execute this code in the, in the squiggly brackets here. So for each unit that's in that group, we're going to have them leave the group that they're already in by having them join a group that doesn't exist, and then have them immediately join our group. And it's as simple as that. So join silent group player. Anyway, that's all there is to it. If you like this video and it was helpful to you guys, great, like it. If it was not helpful, then go fuck your mother. Anyway, Frank.